The clever design is also evident in the installation. Keep in mind, most Roland Lock M series covers ship in just one UPS or FedExable box. Prior to beginning your installation, it is a good idea to make sure you've received everything necessary by comparing the actual parts against the parts list in the instruction guide. Step 1. Bed Liner Modification If your truck is equipped with a plastic drop-in bed liner, some alteration will be necessary. This demonstration depicts the more common under-the-rail liner modifications. If you have an over-the-rail liner, please see our printed installation guide for the necessary modifications. With the bed liner removed from the truck, begin by marking the depth of the roll-in lock housing on the outside of the liner's bulkhead panel. In this case, the depth of the housing is 7 and 1 quarter inches. Then, using a straight edge, connect your marks to create a horizontal cut line. Next, continue the horizontal cut line around each front corner and down each side 5 inches toward the tailgate area. Then, mark a straight vertical line to the top edge of the bed liner. Now, making sure to wear safety glasses and using a utility knife or a saw with a medium tooth blade, remove the area of the bed liner you've just marked. That's it. Now, for the bed liner tailgate panel. Measure and mark 2 inches down from the top of the plastic panel, and using a straight edge to connect your marks, create a cut line. Next, again using your knife or saw, remove the top of the tailgate panel you've just marked. Now install just the bed liner per its manufacturer's instructions, and then you can start with your roll and lock retractable cover. Step 2. Install the housing. Begin by placing the housing assembly onto the bed rails centering it between the bed rails and leaving it about one half an inch space between the bulkhead and the back of the housing. Do not fasten the housing in place. Next, remove and discard the plastic packing bolts. Then, set the housing lid aside. Step 3. Install the tracks. Making sure to leave the pull strap connected to the threaded shipping stud, rotate the latch to the 10 o'clock position. Remove the L-shaped sections of clamps that may be taped to the bottom of the tracks. Because these can be location specific, it is important to lay them in the bed in the same order as you remove them from the tracks. Carefully place the tracks on the bed rails and key them into the housing stems. Make sure that the handle is properly engaged into the tracks. Next, attach the clamps very loosely to the tracks, just to be sure that the tracks don't fall off the bed rails while you're working on them. Using one truss head screw and cargo nut per side, secure the tracks to the housing stems. Step 4. Install the tailgate extrusion. Using a tape measure, locate and mark the center of the tailgate. Then use your tape measure to locate and mark the center of the tailgate extrusion. While holding it square and centering the tailgate extrusion on the tailgate, use a self-tapping screw and power screw gun to secure the center hole. Next, move to each end. Press the tailgate extrusion to the top of the tailgate in order to make it conform to the contour of the tailgate and secure it in place. Install the remaining self-tapping screws, making sure to provide even spacing between them. Now is when you can install the plastic bed liner tailgate panel, if you have one. With the tailgate extrusion secured, carefully close the tailgate. Be careful not to strike the ends of the tracks. Step 5. Orienting the tracks to the tailgate. Move to the front of the bed. Lift up slightly on the housing and shift each side back toward the tailgate. The track end caps should contact the inside surface of the tailgate and match up with the tailgate extrusion end caps. Note that if the tracks are not positioned as shown, the latch mechanism will not function correctly. With the tracks in the correct position, you may now tighten the clamps. Taking care to make sure the tracks remain level, begin with the rear clamp, then move to the front clamp and then the center. Do not use a power or pneumatic screw gun. 
Over-tightening track clamps can cause an indentation in the bed rails. Step 6. Install the lid. Return the latch to the 7 o'clock position. Remove the plastic wing nut and detach the pull strap from the threaded shipping stud. Pull the cover closed and latch it to the tailgate. Do not allow the cover to retract without the lid in place. Place the lid onto the housing flanges and secure it in place with four black countersunk screws. Do not use a power or pneumatic screw gun. With the lid secured in place, you may now test operate the roll and lock cover. The cover should retract on its own with only a slight push from the tailgate. When pulled closed, it should latch effortlessly. Step 7. Install the cargo shield. Use the four truss head screws and rubber washers to secure the cargo shield in place. Note that the rubber washers go on the inside of the cargo shield. Step 8. Install the drain tubes. If available, locate the drain tubes in available factory holes or drill holes in the factory plastic plugs. In some cases, you will have to drill holes in the bulkhead panel. Use a half-inch drill bit to drill holes for the drain tubes. Note that this process is easier if a quarter-inch pilot hole is drilled first. Make sure to align the holes with the drain fittings that are pre-installed in the bottom of the housing. Step 9. Connect the pull strap. Using the carabiner hook provided, make sure the pull strap is securely clipped to a fixed point in the bed. That's it. Now you've completed your installation of the most sophisticated cargo management system on the market today. The bottom line is this. Roll and Lock and Cargo Manager combine to create the most convenient, most versatile, most secure cargo containment system you can buy. Roll and Lock takes your truck to the next level.